Good morning, I'm Chris Peach, and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week beginning Monday, the 7th of August. Each week we look at a key market to trade, but first we'll look back at last week's trade, and we looked at going along natural gas last week uh, with our stop at 2500 and a target up towards 29.30, the highs uh, from the end of June, the beginning of July. That has actually been uh, stopped out. Uh, 2500 was our stop, and we hit that on Wednesday, so a very short-lived trade. Uh, but this one, interestingly, for the time being, it stopped going down. Admittedly, it's not really gone up much more over the last three sessions, but it certainly maybe is showing signs of another attempt to break high. So maybe one to watch as natural gas continues a very slow and tough recovery uh, from the lows of April. We've seen it uh, rally from those April lows, but not huge amounts of upside, but nonetheless uh, trying to make another recovery again. Uh, as we go towards this week for the week beginning the 7th of August, uh, we're looking at dollar yen. Uh, dollar strength appears to be reviving again, actually, uh, despite a lot of concerns about how the Fed will uh, probably ease off in terms of its hiking uh, push later in the year or even pause entirely. But I think the interesting thing is what's emerged over the last few weeks is that uh, the ECB is also very reluctant to keep hiking. And also the Bank of Japan comments from the Bank of Japan members uh, suggesting that they viewed uh, the slight tweaks to the changes to the yield curve control policy as merely allowing the rates to rise slightly without being a definitive hawkish turn in policy. So that has weakened the yen and given the dollar a bit of a boost here. So that's, I think, one to watch really here. After declines at the end of last week, uh, Thursday and Friday saw the price drop back, uh, some signs of recovery here. So I think we're looking going long dolly and you might argue perhaps we want to see a bit more upside here maybe a close above 143 would give you that catalyst so go long on the trade if it goes above 143 with a stop then at let's put it at the 50 day and moving average which is 141.26 currently and we can say if it drops back below there uh, then the expectation for the upside has been negated so that's the trade for the week beginning monday the 7th of august we're going to go long dolly yen above 143 uh, with our stop at 141.26 with an initial target perhaps uh, up towards 145 and maybe beyond uh, those June highs if this uptrend does get further. <laughs>